Okay, so uh, we're looking at uh, inequalities and regions from inequalities. And we've got three inequalities here, and we're going to draw three lines. Basically, we're going to draw the y equals negative 2 line from the top inequality. We're going to draw the x equals 1 line from the second inequality. And we're going to draw the x plus y equals 5 line from the third inequality. So the first one, we've got the y equals negative 2 line. We're going to go, oh, dodge. Not too bad. You'd be using a ruler. Obviously, I can't use a ruler on my um, uh, tablet. So there we go. But there's the uh, y equals 2 line. And it says it's got to be greater than um, or equal to. Now, if it wasn't equal to as well, uh, you could draw a dotted line. Or you should draw a dotted line. Uh, it, it's not quite so crucial now. It used to be uh, actually really crucial. But for some reason, it's not quite so crucial. But yeah, I'd, if it was uh, not equal to, it could be a dotted line. But basically... Because uh, you draw the y equals 2 line. There you go. Right. x equals 1 line. I'm going to draw now. And we're going to draw x equals 1. Oh, let's try and get that a bit more accurate. There you go. Oh, there you go. Not too bad. All right. So uh, the x equals 1 line, pretty straightforward. Again, could be dotted if it wasn't equal to. But there you go. Now, hardest one's probably the x plus y equals 5 line. Now, what that means is that the x coordinate first number in the coordinate and the y coordinate the second number in the coordinate add up to make five so I've got zero five and I've got uh, five zero there you go they both add up to make five I've got um, what have we got three two All right so three two should be there I've got two three right and you'll notice they're all in a line and I'm gonna draw a straight line using a ruler All right that goes through all of those points there we go now we're now going to use the inequality signs. Okay, so it says we've got to be greater than y equals minus 2. So we've got to be above the green line. It says we've got to be greater than x equals 1. All right, so, so we've got to be that side of the red line. And we've got to be less than x plus y equals 5. So we've got to go that side of it there. Now, what you often find with these is a shape has been created. So this big... Uh, this big triangle here is going to be um, the the part you either shade or mark with R or whatever the question asks you to. All right, so there you go. Now, things to remember is you're essentially just drawing straight lines. Okay, um, and if it's uh, not equal to as well, it should be dotted. Um, but generally now they can do greater than or equal to and less than or equal to, so there you go. Um, and again, uh, we've got to think about the inequality sign. If it's greater than, we shade above. If it's less than, we shade below. Um, and the last thing is, um, yeah, basically a shape will be, will be uh, created by all your lines, and that's the bit you're looking for. I mean, that, that tends to be what happens. It's usually, if you've got three lines, it's going to be a triangle. If you've got four lines, it's going to be a rectangle or something like that. All right. Oh, come on, Jeepers.